<clears throat> this is going to be um, kind of a technical um, uh, <laughs> process, I guess we can say. I'm going to be going through a lot of different steps here that have nothing directly to do with being in the game. Um, th this is all really voice attack related. Um, I'm going to start off by explaining that I'm using, <clears throat> in addition to the, uh, I, I use uh, Astra as my, as my shipboard companion. And uh, one of the things that I have wanted to do all along, and have been doing all along, is I've been using keyboard shortcuts on my keyboard and my numeric keypad uh, that I had set set up voice attack and uh, the HCS uh, Astra um, character specifically to respond to key presses as if I were giving the commands verbally. That worked fine until the singularity update came out. The singularity update is a much more complex and comprehensive system that does a lot of things that um, well, that you normally wouldn't expect to see, uh, and not if you're used to using uh, HCS voice packs. And there's a different way now of customizing it, and there are some limitations that now exist that didn't exist before. There are also workarounds, but you have to know what those are, which leads me to Commander, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, uh, Toulier. Commander Toulier, he's French, and he responded to a post that I put up on, um, on the HCS forum where I was asking for help on how to uh, map pressing keyboard shortcuts to getting voice responses from Astra. And he was kind enough to respond and uh, Apparently, he himself has also been working on that problem before I even contacted him. So uh, he uh, was doubly energized uh, once he volunteered so kindly to help me out uh, and uh, has been working diligently on trying to come up with a, a VAP, that is to say a profile, uh, a voice attack profile, that would uh, work in conjunction with the Singularity profile in order to get this to work. Um, and I'm going to be testing that today, but before I do, there are some other things that needed to be done. One of the things that I noticed was that just loading Singularity all by itself without his VAP, I was getting an error message. Now I can't show you that error message now because it's no longer here. But the error message will probably show up for all of you if you switched over to Singularity. And it's a message that, that says that there are certain keys that, um, that need to be mapped in order for Singularity to work correctly. Now, I can show you a copy of the, the file. It's called Missing Binds. And although this one um, is incomplete. Let's see here. I think I made this very large so it could be seen. Now this is not the complete list. This is a partial list because every time you fix a, a key bind and then relaunch both the um, a voice attack program and then Elite Dangerous, this will update until you finally, and as you continue to work through these, and assign keybinds to all of them, eventually the whole list disappears and it no longer generates this file. And that's what I did yesterday, and I didn't record that process, but if you, if you are getting an error message in the voice attack window up here that tells you that there are errors and to consult this, uh, this, uh, this file, then, uh, which is called missingbinds.txt and will show up on your desktop uh, if it generated the file, then you may want to consult it and come up with some key presses that are not conflicting with other key presses in the game. 
Now, in order to do that, I had to spend most of the day yesterday working it all out. <laughs> it was not um, it was not easy. One of the things that I did is I created a um, a file like you see here, where I went through, and I'll show you how I went through this in a minute, but I went through all of the existing keybinds that are dedicated to the game, and then what I did is I um, searched specifically for the ones using the left alt key, or in some, in one case, I think the, the right alt key, uh, or alt shift, you know, so L uh, for left, alt, and then A. All of the keyboard shortcuts that would be, um, that are not available because they were being used in the game. And then I indicated those here, and in between those I put dots to show how many, uh, how many I could find that were not being used, that were using the alt key. Uh, the reason I chose the alt key was because the alt key isn't used much. It's used a little bit in the um, uh, in the inbuilt um, uh, keyboard shortcuts uh, for Elite Dangerous, and of course we're talking about the latest version of Elite Dangerous now. This is um, March of 2018, and they just came out with the new updates, which are huge. And so there are a lot of new features uh, in there, the Galnet audio and other things. And all of them needed to be mapped to keyboard shortcuts before the uh, the new um, uh, Singularity uh, profile would be able to work properly. And I'm going to be testing all of this today, and you're going to wa watch me do it if you watch this video. So this is going to take some time. Um, what I did, though, is as I added my own alt key settings to map those missing um, keyboard shortcuts. I just replaced the dots in the appropriate location with the keyboard shortcut that I used. So this is a mixture of the ones that that I added that were not in the game previously combined with some of them that are already in the game. Now I didn't indicate which ones those are so this is just the list of of those that I used and those dots are the the spots where I can still map other things if I want. In fact, um, I actually added one down here at the bottom, and I think what I'll do is I'll make it separate. And this has to do with my uh, recording software down here, uh, which I'm using, um, which is called uh, Bandicam. So you may be using a different uh, a screen uh, recorder, but I'm using Bandicam. And so <clears throat> with Bandicam, uh, you also need to map keyboard shortcuts to it in order to start a recording or to pause a recording. So I, have, uh, I found a couple of keyboard shortcuts I could use. Uh, so one of them is going to be... Um, left, let's see, can I do this? Uh, hold on a second, I think my keyboard is, I'm going to have to do this for now. I'll explain this later, um, but for now, let me just do this. Left, Alt, Screen Lock, Screen Lock, and left shift alt screen lock that way i know that those keys are mapped and so i'm just kind of keeping track of any keys that i am that i am mapping that are not already part of the game um, here so that I can see what other keys might be available for use. Um, and of course I haven't listed all of the different keyboard shortcuts that are being used here because this would be an enormous list. <laughs> really an enormous list. So um, 
let me show you now. Um, these, <clears throat> these are the final keyboard shortcuts that I've mapped into the game. Uh, and by the way, this is just such a complex process that I, I felt that it was worthwhile making a movie to kind of show you what I'm doing here. Voice Attack is really a wonderful program, but getting it to work, especially the new version, um, requires a little extra work, and so I thought it would be a good thing to show how it's done. All these keyboard shortcuts, these are my current keyboard shortcuts with all of the updates and changes. Everything has been done in here. Um, and the way that this was generated, let me just back this up a little bit so I can show you, is this is the Elite Dangerous Reference Sheet Generator, um, which is just an amazing thing. And what I did, now you won't be, I'm not gonna give you any links to this uh, custom bind set um, yet. I will publish a future video where I will give you a link and show you, uh, you know, where you can go get it. But it's still in beta, and uh, Toulier, the, uh, the the creator of this uh, second, this kind of secondary voice attack profile that makes uh, invoking voice responses when you press keyboard shortcuts. This is a custom app he's still working on, and this is still in beta. But basically what, what you do is uh, you choose the file here. And so, you know, like this is the most, this is the most recent HCS voice pack X52 Pro um, keyboard map that I selected in Elite Dangerous. You know, when you go, let me go ahead and start launching Elite because this can take a while. No new updates, okay. So we'll get this going here. But when you go into settings and you wanna set your keyboard shortcuts or, or your um, your Hodas um, shortcuts in the game, um, when you go there, and you all probably know about this, but I'm just gonna kinda walk through it as if you're a brand new player and haven't done this before. So we'll let that boot up. But anyway, what what, what I did is because I use a Satec uh, X52 Pro um, Hotas myself. Get the volume set here. Um, what I did is I selected the default, right, which is offered in Elite Dangerous, and I'll show you where that is in a moment. I selected the default. And then I modified that default with the recommended key bindings in that text file that is generated by HCS voice packs. Uh, if you haven't done, if, 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 if any of those are required. So anyway, I went into, you go into options, you go into controls, and then up here, I you can select uh, the, these are predefined and they come with the game. So I selected the most recent HCS Voice Pack X52, which is the 2.2 profile, and I'm using that profile. So that's, that's what I started with. And then the text file that was generated uh, by Voice Attack, letting me know that there were certain keyboard mappings that still needed to be mapped in order for the, uh, I can never remember what this damn voice attack profile is called, whenever the singularity profile, uh, when the singularity profile is loaded, it requires these additional mappings to be done by you manually. And so I went in here and I did those based on that text file that I created and I was able to figure out, I was able to figure out what keyboard shortcuts were being used in the game by 
um, let's see where am I going here oh yes by by first of all using the initial profile um, let me go back to the bindings section here by using the initial 2.3 profile 2.2.3.0 in other words the most recent bind profile so I I grabbed that without having made any modifications to it in the game and then using that one I used the okay this is not okay oh yeah that's right I needed to choose that okay so 2.2.3 right there and then I open that so now here it is right there and then I clicked on generate reference sheet so I'm doing it again it doesn't doesn't change anything in the game it just creates a reference sheet that you can use to know how you've got everything mapped and this is scrollable so you can see your keyboard shortcuts at the bottom and everything here now this is showing all of my modifications except except for one <laughs> There's one that it's not showing, and that is if you have a, an X52 Pro, on the back side of the throttle, there's a scroll wheel that is also, if you press down on it, it'll do a click. And I've got that set, um, I had to set that manually to... Um, All systems ready to go. Uh, now, by the way, at some point I'm going to produce a tutorial. Uh, I'll organize my thoughts ahead of time. Maybe I'll even write a script about it so that, um, you know, I'm not hemming and hawing my way through it like I'm doing now. But uh, right now I'm just kind of showing you that this is kind of where things stand right at the moment. So if I... Okay, now that... There we go. Okay, so when I press that, it turns, it toggles flight assist my flight assist. So that that I had to map, um, but it for some reason is not showing up. It should show up in this spot right here to let you know that that toggles uh, toggles uh, flight assist. But that's not uh, that's the only thing that I can see that didn't actually come in here. Now everything else here. Is stock on the on on the hot at on the hotas. I didn't modify anything. I'm using. I decided to go with all the stock settings um, because I thought that would be easier. And it's actually a pretty good layout now. They finally updated the the hotas stock settings for Elite Dangerous, and they really do work pretty well. They make good sense, and so for me anyway, that that's what I'm going to go with. You can change these in game as long as you don't modify the keyboard shortcuts that come with the game because those will be expected um, um, well actually no I, I take that back the the singularity profile actually I think will allow you to map those to different uh, keyboard settings as well you just have to be very careful that you don't uh, have any, you know, duplicates uh, that would conflict with one another, because you know, obviously, uh, that that the, the conflicts might create conflicts in the game or in the performance of the HCS voice packs. Not to mention the fact that there are so many keyboard shortcuts associated with the game, as you can see down here. These are all the keyboard shortcuts. I can't even fit them all on one screen. Almost. Just almost. One line. But you can see there's all of these. And, and there's a whole bunch of them that I added. The, the left alt um, keyboard settings that I had to add in order to satisfy that, uh, that text file of missing shortcuts that you have to manually set. So it was a big job. I spent all day yesterday making sure that I got this all right. 
And so the, the, you don't have a lot of free available keyboard shortcuts left. There are some, um, but those are going to take some time to work out. Now, what I do is I, I have a Logitech keyboard where I can set the keyboard colors to help me keep track of everything in the game. And so what I've done is I've defaulted everything to white for the moment. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put in the re reset the colors here. And I'm going to do that first. Now, I won't make you watch me do that. I'm going to go ahead and pause this recording. And so when I come back and you know, in what will be a blink of an eye to you, you'll see all of my keyboard color mappings. And I'll briefly explain why I did what I did. And then, um, then we'll go in and start testing the game. Because I want to make sure that these mappings um, are consistent with my uh, the way that I'm planning on playing the game. Now I'm working on I'm I'm deep space exploration. Uh, you know I'm doing deep space exploration right now. So I'm not doing any combat. Um, you know I'm not running any missions. Uh, I'm not even visiting any stations at the moment because I'm just way out in the black. And while I'm out here, I'm doing a lot of, you know, uh, you know, every time I come to a new system, you know, I do, a, I have a whole set of procedures, and you can watch some of my other videos if you want to see what those are. But I have a whole set of procedures that I go through in order to evaluate and then decide whether I want to do uh, beyond just the advanced discovery scan, you know, do I want to take the time to fly through the system and do detailed surface scans of you know bodies within the system. My goal at this point is to simply accumulate credits, and second to that, the reputation that comes with uh, you know getting your name on on you know being the first discoverer of a of a system and the, the bodies within it. So those are kind of my goals right now. I don't have an SRV because it got destroyed. Um, you know few weeks ago, a month ago, and so I don't have one, and so I'm not able to, to, there's no point in landing on planets because I can't drive around on them right now, so I'm not even doing that. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be color mapping this keyboard to, uh, so that it has all of the, the keys that I normally would use, and I want to, when I press those keys, um, or when I press buttons on my HOTAS. I, I would like the um, I would like Astra to articulate, you know, what it is that I've done. That way I don't always have to use a voice command because uh, I'm 64 years old. I lost my teeth a few years ago uh, to periodontal disease and so uh, my articulation isn't as clear as it could be and voice attack sometimes has a hard time understanding me. Now, there may be others of you out there who, uh, because you have an accent or, uh, you know, uh, something going on like, you know, like I do, you lost your teeth, and you want to use voice attack and you'd like her to interact with your, you know, keyboard shortcuts uh, rather than necessarily with your voice, then um, what I'm doing today makes sense to you. If you, if you don't do it, if you don't need the keyboard shortcuts, in order to invoke, you know, voice attack responses, then um, I guess you don't even need to be watching this video, uh, except for the, you know, mapping the keyboard shortcuts that are indicated in that error text file, because voice attack, even if you're just using voice, won't be able to do everything that it's now capable of doing unless all of those mappings are in there and correctly in there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause now, and then you'll see the changes that I made to the keyboard here uh, momentarily. All right. <clears throat> um, okay, so these are the mappings that I'm using, at least for the moment. Now, I'm, I'm not completely done with this because, uh, like I said, I'm only focusing on the ones that I use regularly. I tried to get the... Um, the colors 
to make a little bit of sense in terms of combining colors. For example, um, when you combine yellow and, and uh, blue together, you get green. And so these guys right here can have dual functions. The blue, if they were blue, then they would be um, normally used. Um, let's see. Well, they would. You know, it, it <laughs> the thing is, is the, the, the number keys actually do a, a variety of different things. For example, they can be used for calling up certain panels. Um, and the same number keys, um, number two, can call up the comms panel here. Um, here, when you're... Um, here it can use to target your, your, your wingman, um, you know, and here when you're um, in the external camera, uh, they choose different cameras. So, you know, I couldn't really come up with a color code that would completely match these guys, but at least you know that these are multifunctions. Uh, the ones that are in blue next to them um, seem to have only one basic function. Um, I don't use these very often, but if I do, I will go back in here and use this as a reference to see what it is that they do under these different conditions until I have it memorized. Obviously, the WASD keys, uh, which um, I use for head look, uh, and also are useful when you're in the galaxy map or uh, the system map. Um, let's see here. This red J for uh, you know make the jump, and um, this uh, this darker M that I made darker that is uh, to select the uh, the next um, system in route. Um, this will open up the system map. This will open up the galaxy map. Um, uh, let's see the delete key. That oh yeah that that is. Um, uh, silent running. I made it red because it's important and I don't want to accidentally hit that. Uh, insert and home. I'm going to have to go back and look. At I'm going to have to memorize these, but I don't have them all memorized yet. Um, oh, I, I think insert and home. Um, I believe that those are... are uh, I think that insert, it you know, turns on your lights, that's it, yeah. Insert lights and home cargo scoop. So again, I have those marked there. Uh, insert is lights, cargo scoop, lights, cargo scoop. Maybe I'll make this one a different color, slightly different color, just because I want it to somehow speak to that particular thing. So, yeah, so this is just a, a lighter color to let me know that those are the lights, a lighter purple, and and the home key which deploys my cargo scoop. Um, which, you know, if I'm going to be flying around, you know, ship wreckage in space, I'm going to want to turn on my lights, you know, uh, and then ultimately deploy my cargo scoop. So that kind of makes some sense. And then, uh, you know, the Q, E, R, and F um, keys, those, um, you know, are, are all kind of related to, um, you know, changing camera positions, zooming in and out, uh, um, panning left and right, that kind of thing. So they're all kind of in the blue zone here, if you will. There's a little bit of blue in all of these. Um, let's see, the tab key is for boost, but I'm actually going to, uh, I'm going to disable that in the custom VAP file uh, because I don't need a voice response when I press that for boost. Uh, but I do, when I use the Alt key in combination with that, 
I want to be able to switch to external programs uh, because I, there's a lot of things, especially in the web browser, that I like to use as reference images. So I often go back and forth. And all of these others that I've marked in dark gray um, just makes them, you know, almost invisible on my lighted keyboard. Because although they are all mapped to different functions, they're not relevant to what I'm doing right now, which is exploration. So later on, I'll start you know, changing the colors on these as I get closer to the bubble or uh, once I arrive at Colonia, which is my next uh, major destination that I'm headed to. So, um, you know, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, and then as time goes on, I'll map these differently. But I just wanted to share this with you because if you do have a, a you know, keyboard where you can set the lighting, it does help to do this kind of thing. Um, you know, when, when you're flying around. And I may eventually, um, well, I'll just have to memorize these first and then later on the ones that are in dark gray. The ones that are in light gray, um, uh, I just put in light gray so I would know that, that there are things that you can do with these. Let's see, what does the end key do? Um, why did I leave the end key in the lighter gray? I can find it here. I may even eventually I may even eventually come in and, and make a, a JPEG image, take this JPEG image, you know, s save the image, open it up in a photo editing program and somehow indicate the ones that I'm really using here <laughs> because um, if I don't do that there's just too many others here to get lost looking at um, and use that as kind of a, a reference. I'm just looking for the end key here. Well, I'm not sure why I've got that. I don't see it. I thought it might have had something to do with the camera. But apparently not. So I'm going to choose uh, this, um, this gray color that I came up with here and pop that on there. Huh. That was how it affected them all. Okay. Interesting. Anyway, there we go. Th this is the... I think this is the base layout that I'm going to be going with. And, um... Yeah. So there's my keyboard setup. And, of course, you know, this is just for me. But I thought you might all be interested in seeing that. Now, we're going to get to the real important part here, and that is this custom VAT file that uh, Toulier, uh put together for me. And I'm going to show you the, the VAP file first. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off mm -hmm. this so it's not working. And uh, I'll eventually enable the keyboard here when we actually get back into the game. Now, one of the things that, that apparently is a problem with voice attack, and that is that there is no keyboard shortcut to enable and disable the keyboard shortcuts. I mean, I guess logically that makes sense, but maybe there should be an exception um, that can be mapped for that purpose. But right now, that doesn't exist. Uh, Toulier spent a lot of time trying to figure it out, and he's still trying to figure out if, if there's a workaround for it. But right now, that means that if you, if, let's say you go into the Galaxy map and you want to type something, I'm going to have to go into voice attack and disable the keyboard before I do any typing. Um, of course, I could set bookmarks and use those without having to use the, the, you know, the, new, the, the keyboard to type with. And theoretically, I should be able to uh, tell Astra to, um, you know, go to certain coordinates, but I'm not sure if she'll understand me because of my my own
problems with clear speech. So um, anyway, let me let me show you how this works. Now the singularity profile, which we currently have selected there, what you have to do is you have to from when you go in to edit the singularity profile, you go here and you click this options and overrides for this profile. That'll bring up this panel. And then down here what I did is I told it to um, right down here, include commands from other profiles. And so what I did is I I used the plus key and I added this profile, the one that I showed you in the finder. I still have that finder window open. Um, his custom profile, it's a actually when I downloaded it, I put it in downloads and it's right here. So I added that in here using this plus key first of all. And by the way, you can have multiples. So if 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 you replace one with a newer version, you should actually select it and delete the older profile so they don't run as well. Um, but um, anyway, you select this profile. I've already done so, so I'll just cancel. And that puts it in here. And then that is telling the singularity profile that it's that it can also respond to secondary profile command sets. And that secondary profile command set is in its current version is this one here. Of course, this is still a, in beta, and once the non-beta one comes out, um, I will then, uh, Toye said that when that one is out, it would be okay for me to make a tutorial on its use and uh, implementation, and I will be doing that. Um, so these are all the various different mappings that he came up with. And um, the one that I want to make sure that I've disabled, if he hasn't done it already, is tab. Yeah, and he disabled that one. So, um, and some of these others are currently disabled. Now, he's still working on some of these, so that's why there's going to be new versions of this coming out. I think eventually he's going to have all the basic commands mapped and then you can enable or disable them here. And what you're doing when you disable the shortcut, like when I, you notice how this is not checked? Yeah, pull this down a little bit. This is sticking up too far. Okay. Uh, this is a captain's log up here, which is getting in the way of things. In fact, I've got a keyboard shortcut assigned to that as well. Let me pull that down here and momentarily turn off the overlay. That way it doesn't get in the way up on top. So, using his, um, you know, custom VAP, you can disable the voice responses simply by unchecking the checkbox that would otherwise assign that key command. So that way I can use um, Alt Tab, the Tab key, right? Alt Tab to switch between programs. If I wasn't doing that, then I could leave this on, but then she would just tell you that I had just um, applied boost to my um, to my thrusters and you don't need that anyway. You can hear them whenever I do it. So I believe that's why he disabled it for himself as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, but you know, you can come in here and disable others if you have uh, a specific reason where you don't want that voice response. And he'll be adding to that as time goes on. So when it's all ready, I'll let you know. And then. Uh, I'm going to make sure that we're using Singularity, and if I had uh, added any new profiles, you always have to quit voice attack and relaunch it for that to take. Okay, 
So, um, I guess that's it uh, for this tutorial. I'm going to, this isn't even a tutorial, this is just kind of a run through my own observations and how I'm kind of getting started with this new uh, singularity profile. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording and then I'll be making another, uh, opening another recording momentarily where I'm actually going to go do some flying and some testing. So I'll probably put these two together as a set, maybe put them in a, um, in a playlist uh, having to do with um, adding voice commands to keyboard shortcuts. And uh, as new information comes out, I'll add to that playlist. Okay, I guess that's it. So uh, sayonara, farewell, see you all in the black, hasta la vista, and uh, <laughs> y'all have a good time now.